Burn today, uh, the playlist starts with Good As Hell by Lizzo. Let's press play in three, two, one. All right. We've got ourselves some booty burning today that yeah, we got to do. We got ourselves some bar arms finally making an appearance that we're going to do. I've been holding out. I've been holding out on the bar arms, but today we're going to tackle them. See how far we've come. Uh-huh. Find a nice, comfortable stance. Let's wake up these bodies or warm them up if you've been up for a little bit. Draw your chin down to your chest over to one side. Inhale. Exhale back and around. All right. So we have now accomplished three full weeks of this challenge. We're on week four. Keep rolling with the head. And we've covered breath, awareness, activation in our core and our center, now we're going to start on precision. So we're going to really focus on making sure that our body is in good alignment when we're doing all of the moves so that we prevent injury and we build strength. Go ahead and reverse direction. When you've completed that rotation, shoulders down away from the ears, inhaling into the side and back lungs, exhaling, gently pulling your belly button up and back underneath that rib cage. Inhaling, releasing it, and then exhaling. Starting to feel that slight activation in the core so that we can support ourselves in nice, tall postures and just use our core for everything because that's what we do. <laughs> Bring your neck up through the center. Good. Side stretches. Inhale, one arm up and over. Really reach, grounding into those feet. Exhale, stack it up, other side. Inhale, lift. Ooh, exhale, stack, good, one more each side, yeah, and down, other side. I'm so happy to know that you guys are using the videos, both arms up overhead, inhale, exhale, elbows out wide, open up that chest, yeah, inhale, hands up, let's roll it down, exhale, Go over to imaginary beach ball, articulating that spine, hands down towards the ground. Inhale, roll all the way up. Let's wake up that spine. Good. Arms up overhead. Inhale. Exhale, elbows out wide. Open that chest. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, final roll down. Here we go. Hands coming down towards the ground. And then inhale, let's roll it all the way up. Awesome. Now that we are nice and warm, let's go ahead and grab those hand weights, shall we? <laughs> We're doing it. We're doing it. We're going to start with our arms out to the side, palms face down. So if that works just as well, what is that, just? Shampoo, yes, that's a good idea. <laughs> Hold it here. We're going to start with little circles in three. Two, three, two, one little circles. Yep. So you can do whatever you want with your lower body. You can start warming it up for later if you want. You can stand up nice and tall, or you can come into a little second position, slight bend in those knees, whatever feels good to you. If you're in second position, remember to draw that belly button slightly back and towards the spine. Nice natural curve in the spine. No sticking the booty way out there. No flattening it completely, right? Nice little curve. Here we are. We're going to reverse that circle in three, two, one. Go ahead, reverse direction. Oh, yeah, we got four minutes, guys. Less than now. Here we go. You can do this. I know you can. Out of the hang. Wait, wrong verse to say out loud. <laughs> Here we go. Woo! For four, three, two, one. Elbows into the side. Push it out. In and out. Rotate palms up and then out, down. Yes! Feel as those elbows come in. Ooh, those biceps activate. Here we go. And what's happening in the shoulder girdle along the back body? Yes! Here we go, here we go for four, three, almost there, two, 
One, keep it out, little pulses. Reach away. Always can put the weights down if you need. Woo. For four, three, two, one. Bring those elbows in, palms forward. Here we go. We lift, we lower. Yeah, push up, pull down. Elbows come up to shoulder height. We're rotating in that shoulder girdle, right? Yes, good. You're keeping the shape in the arm. Here we go. Yes. For four, three, two. Keep them up in one little lift. Little lift. Here we go. Yes. So make sure as we're doing our little lift, your shoulders are not completely out front here. Draw them back. Woo! For four, three, two. We're gonna open out wide, close it together. One, here we go. Out wide and close. Yes, almost there. Keep breathing. Four, three, Two, one, bring it out wide, lower it down. Yes, that was incredible. We got this. Roll it on out. We're going to take a break from the arms for a sec. Go ahead and put those weights down, but keep them handy. Grab your chair. We're going to burn it out on that booty. So you're going to want to face your chair. We're going to do two ways. Our feet are going to be in first position, okay, while facing the chair, at an arm's distance away, so that when we lean forward, you can either come down onto your forearms and place your head down, or you can kind of grab onto the sides, or if it's easier for you, you can grab onto the chair itself, because we're going to bring back and down, okay? Second set, we're bringing it to the side, open and down, all right? So figure out what works best for you with the size of your chair, the height of your chair. Find it, feet are in first position, zip those legs together. Inhale into your side and back lungs, exhale. Activate through that core. Extend your tail long, find your nice long posture. Send your left foot back behind you, do not open up that hip. Both of your hips are facing down. Then you're gonna lift and lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. You look just in front of your hands, micro bend in that standing knee. Try to keep the upper body stable and lift only to the point where you're not starting to like extend through the back, right? We're looking to keep a nice neutral spine here, figure out what our range of motion is. Really feel the activation in the glute. Here we go, gonna check you out for eight. Good, seven, good. Here we go. Dina, turn that hip down a little bit for me. So it looks like you're going like this. Turn it down. Yeah, better. Here we go. For four. Good, Jen. Three. Bob looks just in front of you. Two. Good. One. Lower down. Lift up. Hold here. Pulse it up. Here we go. It's really hard when we're in turnout to keep your hips down, right? Because we're doing two things here. We're rotating open at the ball socket joint through the leg, but our pelvis is square to the ground. Yeah, feel that booty burn, abs in. For four, three, two, one, keep it up, bend at the knee. Extend, flex and bend, point extend. So thigh stays lifted. I'm gonna check you out, keep going. Yes, Alexa, you can lift that a little higher. There you go, I know, you got this, Oriana. Good, beautiful, Lauren, lift that thigh a little higher for me for four, two, 
Good, last one. Extend it long, all right? Hold it up here, check your form. If your hips started to open up, square that pelvis to the ground. Draw your belly up and in. We're gonna bend into that front knee as our back knee comes behind it, coming into a little curtsy. Inhale, extend it back long, down, extend. Here we go, for four, three, two, one, extend it long, lower it down. Let's stand up, take a little breather, shake it out. We're gonna stay in this position, go to the other side. Find your position again. Inhale, exhale through those abdominals, through that core, send that spine long, send the opposite toes back. Here we go, lift and lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Micro bend in that standing leg. Really try to keep the turnout in the leg and that femur bone, okay, that thigh bone and everything beyond, but your pelvis square to the ground. Here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna come check you out. Good. Beautiful, Tanya. For four, good. Three, two, one, keep it up. Pulse it up. Little pulses. If you feel like you're putting too much weight forward on that standing leg, just shift your weight back a little, make sure you have some weight in your heel. Good. For four, three, two, one, hold it up. Here we go. Bend at the knee, extend, flex and bend, point extend. I'm gonna check you out, keep going. Feel that burn. Yeah, good. Beautiful. For four, two, Last one. Good, here we go. So this leg is gonna bend back into the behind the front knee. Inhale, extend it long behind you. A little curtsy lunge extension action. Here we go. Good. Nice, Dina, here we go. So that knee comes behind the front knee, not to, not next to it. Here we go. For four, three, two, yes, last one. Extend it long and lower it down. Come on up, shake it off. Let's go ahead and face away from the chair now. You're gonna bend down. If you're using the seat, you can still have your hand there, right? Or up, up higher on the back of the chair. Other hand comes to your hip. We'll lift that leg out to the side. So we're still in rotation. Let's just go internal, external rotation from the femur of that lifted leg. If that feels okay for you. It's a very tiny movement. For four, to parallel, external rotation. Two, belly drawn in. One, externally rotate it out, then extend. Here we go. Little bend in that standing knee. Yes. Feel the difference here in which muscles we are activating to gain extension as we lift up and open up to the side. Right, here we go. For four, three, two, last one, hold it up. Draw little circles in the air. Oh my God, booty burn, point through that toe. Keep going and check you out. Here we go. You got this, for four, belly's in. Two, 
One, lower it down. Either switch your chair or turn around. Let's find what position works for us this side. You start with your turn out. Hinge forward, send that foot out. Make sure that you are rotated now open to the side. You're going to lift and lower. You can definitely bend into that front standing knee on the, knee on the lower. Here we go. Feel free to hinge over however much you need to help you get that extension. But we want to make sure we're feeling it inside butt. Are we feeling it inside butt? Yeah, we are. Daggers. Nothing but daggers. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, we didn't do our rotation. Let's do that next. Four. Three. Two. One. Keep it up. Hold it there. Rotate from the femur open and parallel. Oh, this is a tinier movement for me on this side. Everything else is still. You're just trying to rotate that bone. You might need to lower the leg. That's okay. You figure out what works for you. Two. No popping. Three. One. Keep it out open. Draw little circles. Yeah. As it's still drawn in. Here we go. Side butt. Four. Three. Two. One. Lower it down. Oh, take it off. Take a sip of water. Yup. I know. All right, you're gonna grab your hand weight. Oh, side butt, that's gonna, we're gonna feel that later. <clears throat> we're gonna do single arm, single leg work. So your chair is gonna be there for balance, all right? We're gonna start out in our second position, and then we're gonna come up to our plie, arm up overhead. So your arm can come out and then up. You can lower it out to the side, Lift it over top, okay? Let's just start here. We've all done first and second position. As we go out and lift it up, I want you to think about springing off that outward leg, okay? Option to always drop the hand weight if it's just too much coordination, right? Spring off and think about your torso not rotating, right? So we really want the mobility in the legs. Option to stay here or come up onto the toes and do a little releve in the first position. Whatever works for you. I'm gonna check you out, you got four. Yeah, three, good, two, last one. Let's bring it out to the side. Hold here, go down an inch and up an inch, down and up, yes. Woo here we go. Oh, four, three, two, one, come all the way up into your first position, arm overhead, come up onto those toes now, go down an inch, up an inch, down, up, here we go. <sighs> Option to add a little hammer curl, elbow back and, or hand back and lift. <sighs> Triceps, yes, for four. You can always do this with angle down if you need to. <sighs> Last one, come on up, lower it down. Good, all right, <clears throat> this time, we're gonna take a step back, make sure you have enough space. Space behind you. So if we're in first position, we're gonna take a step back into that curtsy lunge. Hand comes in front of you. Exhale, bring that leg up in front of you. Elbow comes to your side. So extend it long and bring it to the side. Make sure in your curtsy lunge that your knees are in line with one another. Here we go. 
I'm going to check you out. If curtsy lunge isn't available to you, just step straight back into a single leg lunge. That's okay. Good. Control that lift on you. Here we go. Good. For four. Three. Good. Two. Last one. Hold it up. Lift. Little pulses. I know hip flexor work is tough. If this gets too much, just decrease the height. Okay? You can still strengthen the hip flexor if you lower that thigh. For four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Woo! Other side. Oh, my God. I'm sweating. Here we go. Switch that chair. Switch the weight into the other hand. Arm comes out long. We're going to come into our second position. And then straight up into our plie. So out long. Plie. Here we go. Good. Remember to think about sending your knees back behind you. It'll help you really activate into those quads. Oh my God, I'm losing my breath. Keep going. For a four. Nice, Alexa. Three. Good, Dina. Try to keep that torso lifted a little higher for me, too. Last one. Good. Hold it out to second position. Find your position. Go down an inch. Got it. For four. Yes. Three. Oh, two. Squeeze those booties. One. Lift it all the way up. Stay here or come up on your toes. Down and up. Feel free to add that skull crusher. Here we go. Yes. Good. For four. Keep going. Three. Good. Two. Yes. Last one. Come all the way up. Gently lower that arm down, lower those heels if you're up on your toes. Awesome. Last thing, we're pulling it down. So if we're in first position, you're going to step back, curtsy lunge, arms comes out front, arm comes out front. Exhale as you lift, swing that leg forward, elbow comes by your side, palm flips up. Curtsy, lift up. The, the turnout in that leg that moves behind us and then forward does not change. Again, if curtsy is unavailable to you, you can always do it in single leg lunge. In parallel, also an option. Here we go. Good. For four, three, two, last one. Bring that leg front. Lift it up, little lifts. Again, figure out what your range of motion is. Whoa. Whole body workout, guys. For four, three, two, one. Lower that leg down. Woo! Drop that weight down. We're cooling it off. That's where we're at. Grab some water. Go ahead, grab back that chair or whatever it is you're using. Both hands on, step back until we get a nice full spinal extension, sort of like a modified down dog here. Really let your sits bones open behind you. Nice natural curve in that spine, send those hips away. Head between the arms, not hanging completely low. Breathing into the side of back lungs. Maybe bending one knee and then the other, creating some space along the side bodies. Slight rotation in the torso when you do so. Stretch out those QLs. Good. Both legs straight. Exhale all your air out. Inhale as you start walking slowly towards the chair, rolling up as you do so. 
grab that chair now. Go ahead and sit on it if you are using a chair. If not, maybe come down to your mat. I'm gonna do a little glute stretch because I feel like that's worthy. <clears throat> Cross one ankle over the opposite thigh. Sit up nice and tall, inhale. Exhale, hinge forward with a straight spine. You're gonna feel that stretch right away. And then figure out how deep you wanna take it. And either hold here, or if you wanna deepen it, feel free to round it out, reach your hands down. Support this knee by pressing into it a little bit. That'll also deepen the stretch. I like to keep a straight spine here. Some people, people prefer to round. Good. Inhale. Come all the way up. Uncross that leg. Plant that foot down. Make sure that foot's in line with that hip. Cross the other ankle over that thigh. Inhale nice and tall. Exhale, hinge forward. Great job today, guys. We brought it up a notch, which we will continue to do. Mm -hmm. Inhale, come on up. Go ahead and stand up. Send one foot forward, one foot back. Both feet flat on the ground, bend into that front knee, tuck your tail, stretch out that hip flexor. Inhale your inside arm up and over to deepen that stretch. Come on up and out of it. Straighten that front leg, both arms up overhead, inhale, exhale, hinge forward with a straight back, and then let those hands drop on your thigh, your shin, or the ground. Push your weight towards the back foot so that you get a nice stretch in the back of the front leg. Send your front hip back, your back hip forward to square them a little bit better. And breathe. Head stays up, don't let it completely dangle. Bend into that front knee, step forward with your back leg, and then go ahead and just step right back with that front leg. Straighten, straight, straighten both of those legs out, send your weight back towards that back leg. Head is still slightly lifted, we are not letting it hang, no blood rush here. Keep breathing, bringing that heart rate down. Good, on your next inhale, bend into that front knee and then push yourself up through that front heel. Both feet are down on the ground. We're bent into that front leg, tuck that tail. Inhale as your inside arm comes up and over. Hip flexor stretch on this side. Go ahead, come out of that stretch. Let's stand on up, cross one arm across, hook it up. Little upper body stretches. Take that arm up and over. <sighs> I think we're at time, so if anyone needs to hop off, feel free to do so. We're gonna be like 30 seconds more. Cross the other arm over. Good, that one feels good. And then up overhead. Both arms come down, place the palm on the small of the back, fingers pointing down, draw your elbows together, look up, little chest opener. Gently come out of that, take a neck roll in one direction and in the other, and we're all set. <laughs>